Hi guys, this is David Lee. Some of you know me as Ferrari Collector. Others know me as the President and CEO of Hingwa Lee Jewelers. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, remember to subscribe and hit notifications so you get all the new videos. Today we have a really exciting video for you. But first, as I do always, I always pick the watch that I think would be best to make the video uh, to match the car, right? So let's go ahead and see what are the choices today. Well, we can start with this here. We have a blanc pong here. It looks like a titanium with the blue dial. Uh, it's a very sporty watch and uh, blanc pong is a very uh, well-known old company. Uh, really great in watchmaking. This is the um, their sporty version of it where um, it's more modern and it's pretty cool. Next to it we have Ulysses Narden which is also a very uh, prestigious and well-made complication company again with the blue and the stainless steel the markers are in Roman numeral and nice basic um, movement right they both just tells time and has a date and we move into Gerard Perico another uh, well famous and and in the watch industry long time names I know a lot of you guys may know kind of the popular names but these are really you know top names in watchmaking if you're into watches you really know now this one's very interesting it's called a rock um, it's got the chronograph which is a stopwatch but you can see it's it, it's called a rock because it looks like what we have here is uh, in carbon and then where the indentation is blue really not this execution i really haven't seen in any other watch brand so it's a very special execution and design um, of the of the uh, of the watch so it's really cool then we got omega here this is rose gold so it's more precious and metal it's a speed master so it's a stopwatch with the with the blue so i think that is also a uh, very nice sporty watch as, as we know then here at the end we have the panerai the blue dial and the stainless uh, you know stainless uh, case an automatic and so these are really good choices all of them are good choices for the car that we are going to test drive today and you know obviously if you want to know more about this you can go ahead and call or email the number that we have in this video to know more about it but all of these would be um, perfect for it but we can only choose one so let's see which one we ended up choosing with the test drive to match the car so you know what um, this uh, Ferrari Roma is, I mean, if you look at the design, I, I think it's super cool. You know, uh, again, I've ordered one, so I'm really excited to see one that we can drive. Obviously, US is going to get it later than the rest of the world. But uh, I've, of course, I love the silverish blue, uh, which is what I ordered in. Of course, um, here we have black in uh, some of the, the spoiler and side skirts and, and diffusers. You can get that in carbon fiber, which I think I'm going to do. The uh, carbon fiber hubcaps. Now the wheels, this is probably one of the better um, design, but you have 10 choices of the wheels. The calibers um, is was on this one done in silver, again, to just not for, for the clients that maybe to appeal to those that are not hardcore Ferrari guys like me. Uh, they did that in silver and you have an option of the badge, the shield, if you want that or not. So I would imagine those that want to be more subtle, they would go with this look. Those that want to be more um, already loving the brand of Ferrari may want to do the, the either black or red or yellow calibers with the shields on it. For somebody that want that may want to buy just one Ferrari, okay? Not everybody's like me that have so many cars to collect because I'm a little crazy that way. But somebody that's want, just want to have one, they want to have one where, okay, the styling looks cool, um, very modern. It's not Ferrari everywhere. It doesn't have the badges and everything. The inside, the technology like you would expect from a lot of the other car companies so you're not giving that up for buying a Ferrari. It's got two plus two back seats so that for a small family, you know, you, you, it's, it's flexible in that way. 
Now, usually what happens is some, maybe some of the other models, it does well in those and they give up the performance. But on the Roma, the performance is there, like you would expect from a Ferrari. So you can have fun with it when you wanna just, you know, drive it like a sports car, like a, a really world-class sports car. But yet it's got all the other things. So I would say what, what Ferrari did here with the Roma is like an all-in-one car. If you only had to have one car, this car will have it all for you. Everything that you're looking for. A G Grand Touring, luxury and comfort, the technology, the flexibility of, of, of the seating, um, and trunk space, right? So if you need to put luggage, but then yet if you want to go on a track or you want to drive it like aggressive, it's there for you like, like a real Ferrari should feel. So that's kind of my synopsis of it being knowing, know, having have had the other models, having a lot of Ferraris and comparing and to know uh, what the Roma is all about. So you saw the choices that uh, we had. They're all great choices of watches. At the end, I went ahead and decided to go with this Panerai. And you can see that it's, it has the blue dial, it has the stainless uh, case, and it just, I think it overall, in the modern look, I think it overall matches this Roma the best in my taste, but. So it's got a lot of trunk room space. It's not bad. It's got a good trunk space. It goes up in there. The seats go down if you want so that you can put uh, skis in there and uh, pretty much can put all that you need in there. A, a look at the engine. It's a, uh, you know, V8 uh, turbo. And um, you know, it looks, uh, looks quite compact, but it's, and it's also set back a little bit too. So it gives you a better balance. It's more of a front mid-engine almost. So here we have the Mattanini. We have the sport mode. We have comfort. We have wet, right? It all shows here. And um, obviously, we're going to play with the race mode, okay? Uh, over here, uh, it's on automatic, but let's go ahead and go for the manual, all right? So... Go ahead and have fun. See, let's see what this uh, Roma's got uh, under the hood. You can see the tachometer where, where it's at as far as uh, on the tack. So you can keep your eyes on the, on the road and, you know, on this. The other, the other cool thing it has here is the... Um, you know, that's the other thing. You can have them, uh, the navigation map all here in front. So now you don't got to look over. You can just, you can keep your eyes on the road. You have the tack here and you have the, um, the road map navigation here. Right, you got the miles per hour and the, the, the gears. Really smart, really smart what Ferrari did. You know, the, you know so what I'm feeling about this car the Ferrari is trying to achieve besides you know trying to reach more consumers to um, you know with the design to make it look uh, more appealing to a, a broader uh, group of customers uh, even as a traditional Ferrari customers I would say that um, this car is great because 
First, it looks cool, um, and it drives. It's got all the new uh, 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 creature comforts that all the new cars have, you know. And everything is is smart and digital and so forth. But um, I think it still has the the power and the driving performance like a traditional Ferrari you would expect, and that is that is some and that is something cool because. I think where some of the models lacked was, okay, it was more comfortable, but didn't have the aggressive Ferrari feel. And, and let's say somebody was to just have one Ferrari, they wanna have, they wanna have a little bit of everything. And I think this car has a little bit of everything. That's what it had achieved.